picture in here kind of scares. 18 year old Jamie McNair from Red Hook loves to skateboard. But finding a place to do that, he says, can be challenging. I'd love to like have the community paint these new parks because it could look beautiful. We could all get together and make something nice. These three community leaders say they agree with McNair. Their local parks need some TLC. Kids needed to go to the bathroom. The adults needed to go to the bathroom. The park was beginning to smell like urine anywhere you sit, and it was too much. They took PIX11 News on a tour Thursday, pointing out some trouble spots. First, Coffee Park. Why do you take so long to do what you're supposed to do? Henrietta Perkins, a community activist and grandmother, says it's a shame the park house here has been closed for months with only portable bathrooms for families to use. It stinks in there. People come out, they're holding their nose. Then there's Harold Eckold's playground. It's falling apart. There's cracks all over the field. Robert Berrios with the Red Hook Civic Association says the community was promised it would be converted into a skateboard park, but still no work has been done. They have blamed. Um, Hurricane Sandy, they have blamed COVID, they have probably blamed something else tomorrow, but nothing's getting done here. Barrios also took this video of the Red Hook Recreation Center. He says the boiler inside is broken. All the playground inside of nature shut down. We are in the shadow of the Red Hook houses, yes. and you say these parks are the only place where kids can go. For now, this is the only place they can go. All three of these places are near the Red Hook houses. Lily Marshall is the tenant president. She says with her NYCHA development undergoing Superstorm Sandy repairs, these parks are places of hope for the community. She would like to see more action to maintain them. What's your message to the Parks Department? Get it together.